Welcome back. We're going to look at one of the Excel tools today that's part of the set of the what if analysis uh, tool set and it's the one called the scenario manager. Okay the, the model that we'll use to look at the scenario manager is we're uh, calculating a, a future value based on a rate number of periods and a payment. Decide to make the number of periods monthly periods, so 120 months. So we, we made the rate in terms of a monthly rate, and then here's our monthly payment, $200. Well, we can see that, that based on that, we'd end up with a future value of, of $29,449.96. How would that future value be affected by some different scenarios, different uh, combinations of values for the rate number of periods and payments. And so we've created three different scenarios, a worst case, most likely, and best case, with different values for each of these three changing cells to see how, how that set of changes under each scenario would affect the future value. Uh, to get started, we go to the data ribbon, what if analysis, scenario manager. We start by adding the first scenario. Our first scenario is worst case. Identify the changing cells, and it's these three cells for rate, number of periods, and payment. And then I click OK. Now notice when this came up that instead of seeing a cell reference, you see these names. That's because in advance I had named those ranges and that's really a, the, the best way to approach this. Now you, you can't select values, you have to actually enter them. So my rate for the, uh, the worst case, 0 0.0017. Uh, number of periods is 72 and payment minus 100. If that's my last scenario I could click OK, otherwise click Add. Add additional scenarios like most likely. I have the same set of changing cells. Uh, again I enter those values 0 0.0040 number of periods 100 payment 250 and then I've got one more so add for the last time best case point zero zero five two forty and five hundred now just click OK so now I've created these three scenarios worst most likely and, and best case now I want to see the result so I click on summary indicate what is that outcome cell or cells it can be more than one it's correctly picking up that it's C7, the future value, which is what I want. I want the report type to be a scenario summary. So I just click OK, and it creates a, a new work sheet within my workbook, and it shows the current case, that 29, and then it shows what it would be under these three scenarios of worst case, most likely, and best case, and you can see the impact of those three scenarios with those changing cells on those outcomes or future value cells. So Scenario uh, Manager is a very powerful tool. Thanks. See you next